Cześć, I'm Cristobal from Krzysztof.cl and in this video I'm going to teach you how to tackle really hard sounds in Polish for Polish learners. Many people, many people say that Polish looks like a hard language or oh I'm not gonna learn this thing, this, how to distinguish every sound in Polish or blah blah blah. I think they're pure lies. Yes, Polish is a hard language, but all languages are hard, and it all depends on your motivation or in your on you or with um with your attitude towards the language. I personally have a really positive attitude towards Polish. I love the culture. I have friends from there, so yes, it's hard. It's a hard language for me. I had to to learn a lot and not frustrate myself when I. F I don't manage to pronounce things well, but still, um, I'm really positive and I've tackled many things with, uh, with the pronunciation of Polish. And this time, I'm going to teach you my secrets to tackle sh, ch, z, and sh, ch, and z. Many people say they don't find a, distinct, a distinction between these pairs of sounds. But Pols do, I do, and I will teach you how to make those, those, distinguish, those distinctions with sounds. Um, first of all, we'll start with the first batch of sounds. Um, sh, ch, and z. We will start with sh. You know, um, we say sh more or less like that. It's more or less like that. You you have to put your tongue more or less here, uh -huh. and do sh. Let the air flow. Let the air flow. Sh. And the first example that I will give you for it is kasha, kasha. Kasha is uh, some kind of porridge Poles eat a lot. It's very popular, you can eat it for breakfast, dinner, lunch, in every time. Then you have ch, ch. You always put your tongue in, in this part with these clusters of sounds. Like, not, not very close to your teeth. You have to put it like in the middle of your palate. Like, and you have to put stand it up, ch, ch, and the and the word that I will that will help you remember it is chapka. Chapka is some kind of hat, especially when you when it's very cold outside and you have to cover your head. You put a chapka on on your head. And the last um, sound is z, z, z. Yeah. You can see how I put my lips, but my tongue is still here. It's, st it's still here. And the example I will give you to to learn that that kind of um, that sound that sound is Jolivoj. Jolivoj is a neighborhood in Warsaw. It's it's a long word for French, and you're going to remember it. So. Um, the first cluster of words like kasha, chapka, jolivoj are written like s, z, kasha, chapka, c, c, z, z, and jolivoj and z has two has two spellings in Polish, r and z, and this little this. Z with a point on it. We won't get that far with, with the actual name, but you will you will recognize it when you see it. And often people in handwriting will write the Z with a little stroke mark in the middle. But that happens mostly in handwriting. So be careful if you put your your z your z's uh, with a stroke in the middle in your handwriting and you're writing to a pole. No, no, no. There might be 
they might not understand it completely. So, in the next batch of sounds, we will put our tongue closer to our teeth, like this. Huh. And we're going to do the same kind of sounds. You can see you can see my teeth here. And it's time it sounds softer. And for example, Kasha, Kasha, Kasha is a common nickname for Katajena, which is Catherine in in English. You're going to meet a lot of Kashas in Poland. Also, Yash, Yash, uh, Johnny, in, in, which will be the equivalent for Johnny in English. Um, then um, we'll do t, 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 t. Notice that I've kept putting my tongue closer to my teeth than in the last previous than the previous sound. Which was more like my tongue was more like that, and you and you put my and I've put my tongue closer to my teeth. You're going to remind it, but you're going to remember it by chapwa, 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 which is war, it's war. And the last sound is zzz, zzz, zzz. Same thing with my teeth. I put my tongue closer to my teeth. And the word that I'm going to give you as, as an example is zimno, zimno, when it's very cold. Ale zimno. And oh, and now the the next part of this video, this next this last part is remembering how to spell those those uh, the last cluster of words. In Polish, um, this kind of softer sound is, is written as the first, like sh, like kasha, is written as s i, s i, kasha, kasha. Also, the s with an accent is soft. Yash, yash. As for ch, it is spelled like. C I or with a C with a with an accent like bitch to be bitch chepo 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 bitch and the less sound and the less uh, spell and the less uh, part of this is gymno with it which is that I uh, and the Z with the accent is also Z, like it zle, like very bad. Zle, zle, zimno. Now you will learn. Now I hope this video has helped has helped you with uh, with learning Polish, and uh, also remember to not confuse ever Kasha and Kasha. Because I don't think it would be nice to call your friend Kasha like she's porridge. No, 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 no. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me on, on the video or on my blog, which is krzyszek.cl. See, <laughs> you, you can see how uh, my blog name has, um, has that, that has these sounds like z and sh, krzyszek, which is Chris in, in, in Polish. So, do widzenia, na razie.